It's a place in Tampa that many say is one of the area's best kept secrets. St. Joseph's John Knox Village. So today, Lisa Lyons and resident Susan Harrison are here to tell us why it is such a wonderful place to live. Good morning, ladies. How morning. are you? Good morning. Good. Thank you. Lisa, we have had the pleasure of having you on our show before. But before we dive in, I want you to kind of give us a little background about John Knox Village first. Okay, so John Knox Village is a continuing care retirement community. We are in North Tampa, across the street from USF, and we offer all levels of care. We have independent living, assisted living, we have a home health agency, and we serve seniors in our area. We're owned by St. Joseph's Hospital. We've been here for 43 years and we're part of the Bay Care Health System. Okay, Lisa, you don't just serve seniors. You provide a fabulous lifestyle. And that's where I want to bring Susan in because Susan and I were talking, this might be your first time on TV, but you've had a lot of firsts while living at John Knox, right? Absolutely. I, I just can't begin to say how much fun I'm having. Um, I had no intentions of ever going into a retirement community until I was at least 80. But life got in the way and I had a mini stroke and so I needed to, to take action. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to several places, talked to several places. And um, the one thing that, that really meant a lot to me was when I said, you know, do you let me have pets? The answer was not just yes, it was oh yes, Aww. we welcome pets and that did it. But it was when I stepped into the marketing office I knew I was home. I had been to other places, but I stepped into marketing. I was home. There was no question about it. And uh, walking around on the tour, um, no matter where you went, there was a resident. It was just amazing. And every single one of them greeted me like they had known me. And they never failed to say, you're going to love it here. They just took it for granted, you know, in a way. And I do. I, I've had, I don't know how to say it, I've become alive. I always thought I was alive before. But since I've been at John Knox, I had just, I'm just thrumming with energy. And uh, I do a, a few things. I'm not really active like some residents, but I write articles for the John Knox News that comes out every month, and I love doing that. And um, we have the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute there, and I teach a class for that, which is really neat, because I love to teach. But I love being there, and I tell people, uh, you know, grow, growing older is a challenge. It can be a little scary. And I say, I'm getting my third master's degree. And they just look at me, well, where are you going? They think USF. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm at the University of John Knox Village, <laughs> and you're my professors. Because these people are people of great courage and grace and dignity. And yes, they're older, but you wouldn't know it by their attitude. They accept it. And I've learned so much from them. I, I just love getting up in the morning. I don't know what's coming around the corner. And it's just so cool. It's just so neat. I guess cool's an overworked word, but hey, still. Hey, no, we like that word. Well, and you know, I'm really glad when you first started saying you, you had a goal that you weren't going to worry about going into, you know, a retirement home. And so that was something you were hesitant about. Mm -hmm. So how much have you proven yourself wrong for having that goal? Because it sounds like this is nothing you would have expected No, before. it isn't. Um, I was wrong from the first minute I walked in, 100% uh, wrong. Uh, I had no idea. I mean, my parents had been in senior, you know, communities. Mm -hmm. But you go in as a child, and it's a lot different. Uh, here I was going in as me, and it was a lot different. Um, I just didn't know what to expect. So I can't say I had expectations, but I had a lot of fears. And so the first night there, I decided tomorrow I'm going out, I'm walking this entire village, and I'm making it mine. And that's exactly what I did, and it's been mine ever since. Um, every day is a new day. Every day I'm learning something new. Um, I think from the, from the top down, from Lisa on down, the staff, they're flawless. They're totally flawless. Even their mistakes are flawless. <laughs> you know, they're, they're wonderful, they're gracious, they're warm. You walk through and if there's someone on the ladder fixing something and he sees you carrying it, he gets down, he says, can I help you? Oh. You know, I don't know where Bay Care finds these people. <laughs> they're gem gems and the residents. Um, you know, I have friends who, you know, when, when I get stuck, you know, I've never been 70 before, how do I do it? You know, you do it. You know, like one lady said to me, I'd rather be five foot one above the ground than below the ground. Well, you know, there's humor there. There's lots of humor. These people are awesome people. They're wonderful. I can't imagine life without them. And I travel. I'm, I love nature and I go traveling for that. And I'm very homesick when I get in the shuttle for the airport. 
Oh. Uh, I just can't say enough about John Knox. Wow. It's a great place. Well, I was going to say, thank you so much for coming in and talking about it. And, of course, I was going to say, they are giving you new experiences. I don't know, she said she writes. Maybe we need to talk with her about the blend, too. <laughs> Anyways, we appreciate it. We want to point out, in case you were interested in taking a tour at St. Joseph's John Knox Village, there's the phone number. And uh, if you go there, not only do you get to talk to some residents, but you get a free lunch and tour. Can't beat that. Yep. Thank you, ladies, so much. We look thank forward you. to having you back, too. Great. Thanks so much.